about the bricks. Welcome to another game day recipe extravaganza. I say extravaganza this time because we got a request. Chef Keith, can you do chicken and waffles? Can I do chicken and waffles? Of course I can. So now today we're doing chicken and waffle sliders. Boom, we putting it down just like that. Compliments of Chef Keith and Mountain High Appliance where you experience the difference. Okay, so this is real simple. Three stage process. The first stage, we gotta create a brine for our chicken. So we're gonna start with water. We're just gonna take our water and add it to our pot. And then we're gonna add our salt. Then we're adding our pepper. Then we're adding our sugar. Then we're adding our red chili flakes. Then we have a nice fresh garlic, minced garlic that we're gonna flavor this with. And then last but certainly not least, fresh thyme and bay leaf. Okay gang, so this is our brine and all we're gonna do is bring this up to a boil so we can dissolve the sugar and the salt. So I have that right there. Boom, we'll get that going. Okay, so we're gonna take our chicken and add it to this bag just like this. Now, I already has some marinade ready to go. So we're just gonna take this and put our chicken with the brine, marinade in the bag, seal it up. And I got a smile on my face because I know what's going to happen. This is going to be some good fried chicken. Chef Keith know how to fry some chicken. So now all we're going to do is place this in our refrigerator and let it go four hours or overnight. All right, gang. The chicken is in the brine. It's done its thing. So now for convenience sake, we just changed it from the bag to the bowl. Now, the recipe for the flour mixture the recipe for the liquid mixture, which is eggs and buttermilk. That's on the website, so you don't have to worry, we're gonna get it to you. So now we're just breading our chicken, and it's real simple. I have breast meat and leg and thigh meat. So we have a little flour. We try as much as possible to knock off the excess flour. Then we go into our liquid mixture, the buttermilk and egg. Okay, then we try to drip that as much as possible. Then we're going back into the flour mixture, the seasoned flour mixture, and voila. Okay, gang, the chicken is ready to go. It's been brined, marinated, breaded. Now the next step is frying. Okay, so we're gonna check the oil to make sure that the temperature is proper. So it's frying, and you can see that we have a real good sizzle going on our chicken so this temperature is perfect now the more chicken that I add the more I'm going to decrease the temperature of the oil and I don't want it to soak in oil I want it to fry in oil so I'll do this kind of like in batches or stages and when you're making this at home you do accordingly okay so, oh my goodness, chef, we're frying chicken. So we have our chicken and it's frying. Now the next component to this are the waffles and we're making this really easy. I went to the store and bought Let Go Of My Ego mini waffles. And the only thing I did was put them in aluminum foil packet with some softened butter cause I like my chicken and waffles with butter and pure maple syrup and that's it. And because these are pretty much ready to go, I just have residual heat from the oven to bring them up to temperature. So imagine this in the oven. Okay, gang, the chicken is ready and it is absolutely beautiful, perfectly fried chicken. Yes, now all we have to do is bring it together. We have our mini Eggo waffle, some of this perfectly fried chicken, another waffle, real toothpick just like that now I'm a fan of just butter and maple syrup with mine some people like to garnish with lettuce some slaw whatever you want to do be creative make this your own another fantastic let me put this right there oh boom another fantastic game day recipe from Chef Keith and Mountain High Appliance where you experience the difference yes we could do fried chicken and waffles. 
and I'm sure yours will be just as good as these. I'm about to tear these up. Yours will be just as good as these on your next game day recipe. So have a great game. Enjoy yourself. And listen, fried chicken and waffles never had it so good. Do you want to feel the value?